you know, we, we couldn't really talk about Ricky steamboat without at least bringing up. There's been a lot of rumors over the years that perhaps his marriage, uh, hurt some of his career choices. I've never actually spoken to Mr. Steamboat about that. I wasn't there. I don't have a read on it, but you probably heard other people say stuff like that as well. I'm sure. Yeah, I did. Uh, but I mean, I'm very detached with Bonnie. I just, um, she didn't like me as a person, a lot of, for a lot, a lot of reasons, a lot of wives didn't like me. <laughs> I don't know why, but, um, but I think she also, um, you know, played upon his emotions and, and, you know, you know, wanted things, she wanted to be as much, she wanted to, she wanted, and this is my thought process. She wanted as much attention as, as he was getting. Right. And it's funny, you know, how, how Bonnie met Ricky. She's one of the models that I, I hired from Charlotte to come up for that angle we shot. Really? When he, when he first came in, when he first came in, when we, when we first started going to work with each other. Well, I'll be darned. She was modeling in Charlotte. It was, she came up with three other girls and, uh, I think they met that day, but, uh, the next thing I knew they were dating. Well, how I about, like, that? I don't remember how it all came around, but the next time I see him, I'll ask him. <laughs> Well, he's like me. He's been around four times. <laughs> takes two times to get right. the four horsemen, baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's four horse women now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. and, and he's a good guy. He's not even a bad guy. I was a bad guy. <laughs> So there's a, a free clash of the champion special, just five days before the pay-per-view. This one goes down in Cleveland. You don't yeah, rest. I, I got to gotta tell you a story about steamboat. Please do. So steamboat, they're having a Mr. North Carolina contest and it's going to be Jimmy and, uh, Jimmy Snooker and, 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 uh, and Ricky enter with about 30 other guys. So I want you to think about this. I'm wrestling steamboat. I'll give you an example. An hour every night. And this is back when we were doing an hour every damn night. And he, we would, you know, drive out of town with somebody else and get in the car and drive back together. And I, cause I told him I'd go through it with him if he, you know, I mean, to help him, right? And it, he would drink three Miller Lights and eat three Chicken McNuggets. We'd get to his house because during one of my minor separations, I stayed with him uh, in his house and he would eat Cool Whip wrestling me an hour every night 60 carbs a day training for that contest for about two months and wrestling me an hour every night that's unbelievable yeah it's a true story i was there i was with it now, i didn't i drank a few more than say than three but <laughs> i rode with him he liked he liked fast cars and i had that red corvette he loved driving my red red corvette so um he to this day he's a car guy he loves cars and speed boats and stuff like that so we had a lot in common outside of wrestling. Let's, uh, let's talk about this clash of the champions encounter, because this is where you really establish yourself firmly as he's the good guy, the family man, you're the bad guy. Of course, it wouldn't be a, a Ric Flair confrontation unless something got ripped off. He rips your suit completely off. You're fighting uh, the crowds going bananas. This is one of the better buildups, uh, yeah. a last minute build for a pay-per-view that I recall in this era. Yeah, you know, me. It wasn't until he the first time we what, what I can't remember the angle we shot the first time, but I uh, we went and we got we just did like an average house. So we came back a week later, and was that where he tore my clothes off and all that? Well, anyway, from that point on, we were sold out every town every night. Phenomenal, and we're gonna see a bit of that in the recap when we actually roll the the tape. If you're if you're gonna watch yeah. along with and, us, and, and we, we did the same thing in '89 with you know, years later with the mink coat and all that. Yeah. That's the one we're going to watch here in just yeah, a moment. Yeah. One hour, 54 minutes and 22 seconds. But before we roll that, I want to give everybody a chance to, to fire it up. So look up Chi town rumble in Peacock. It's the only one, uh, fast forward to one hour, 54 minutes and 22 seconds before we roll the footage.